Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. This is the second video in our set of videos that we're doing on the boundary survey for 3540 Wilmarth Road in Stockton, California. In this video, I hope we are going to get our job GIS set up so we can take our stuff with us into the field, some of our data using Mergen Maps. I have created a GIS folder of what we call local job folder at my shop on our GIS drive, our data drive. And I've dropped in our QGIS template. I am going to rename that to MPF Master Project File. That's what we call our main GIS project here. At Refine Horizons for each job. We'll go ahead and open that up in QGIS. It's going to take a little bit because I'm running my screen recorder and that slows everything down. All right, I've got QGIS up, and I went ahead and did some uh, setup because I wanted this to go fairly quickly. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some base data. We're going to add some raster data. So I downloaded some high-resolution orthophotography from the USGS. So we'll go into data reference raster, and we'll grab those tiles. And we're going to add them. Now QGIS will reproject those, but I will I will save them out uh, in State Plane Zone 3. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can see this is our subject parcel. This is pretty good, pretty good orthophotography. Uh, I actually have, have flown this site, and I have a good uh, current UAV orthophoto. Maybe we'll get that in here at some point. Let's go ahead and add a group, and we're just going to call it USGS orthos and then we'll drop our orthos in there so we can turn them off and on as a unit okay the other base layer we're going to add is our parcel data so we'll go to layer add layer vector layer and we're going to go up to reference vector and we're going to grab i have cropped out our county polygons so we'll add those. Let's go ahead and make those transparent. I also want to pull them out of that group. So let's go into our properties. I think we have a style that will do what we want. So let's see. We're going to load a style. I was hoping we had... Here's a parcels. Let's try that. All right, well, that did not work the way I wanted. Let's go in here and see what we did. Let's get this set up. Symbology. Oh, yeah, this is not what I want. All right, let's just go to single symbol. That's fine. We're going to put an alpha on that fill. And I'm going to make the line a little thicker. Nope. Uh, let's see here. We're going to do four pixels and round. And I could actually use that a little. I could use that a little thicker. And I realized I've got a transparency on my boundary, which is not what I want. So we're going to go back to here. Let's try making that fully. All right, and then our fill, we are going to make just a little more transparent. Somebody was teasing me about all the pink we had, so we'll go with a bluish color. Okay, so now we've got our parcel shown up with our APNs. That's a little thick, isn't it, on that stroke? Let's make that stroke a little, a little thinner there, guys. Sorry. All right, that's about all the base data I want to get set up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in some points off of our... Some, we're going to create some search points off the, the filed survey map. So let's go ahead and, and import um, a, a layer template. So we're going to go ahead and add this template layer that we have set up. So we're going to go into our template folder, GIS, QGIS, layers, and we have this 
property corner layer. We're going to add and then we're going to apply the style. So we've got a default style that'll work pretty good for this that we can load. This one I think will work because I've done it relatively recently. <clears throat> now I've got these <laughs> these points came in with the default layer. We need we need to get that cleaned up. My bad, folks. Let's delete that. We'll remember to clean up that layer. I'm gonna make that editable, don't I? Okay, so now we can start to create some points. And I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do all those. We'll just do the first map. <clears throat> we'll do the first map and then um, I'll finish up and I'll, I'll show you guys what this looks like when I'm done. So give me a minute here, I'll pull up that first map. So we're just gonna drop in some search points. And the reason we're doing this is we wanna be able to take this into the field with us with Mergen Maps. And I'll have the maps with me too. Somebody asked me to do some videos of the actual field survey on the last video set for Dynestag Road. So I am going to attempt to do that. I don't do a lot of my videos in the field, but we're, we're gonna try it. We'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'm just gonna go into my boundary research folder here and I'm gonna pull up the most current map, which is this record of survey that I'm gonna show you guys here. All right, so here's this record of survey. Uh, Wong engineers went in. This is a long time ago, but they went in and did our east adjoiner. Uh, I know uh, the folks over at, at Wong Engineering, they're decent folks. I suspect I will find these monuments that they set. So we got one, two, three, four. Those are the ones I'm going to look for. So he set, uh, I believe they're iron pipes. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, they're rebar. So he's got rebar with a cap. So let's go ahead and we can drop those in. And we start our search points here at, at uh, 1500. So this layer is already editable. I'm going to click this. And I'm going to drop in my first point here. Point number is going to be 1500. We're going to skip northern easting elevation for now. The status is going to be not searched for. PLSS type is not applicable because we're not in the PLSS and the category is not applicable as well. And we'll hit OK. And there's our first point. We're going to do that here. 1501. Status not searched for. It'd be nice, I just realized we should add a um, not applicable, we should add a, dis a record. I thought I had a record description field on here. So I'll add that and we'll, we'll note that those are pipes. So here's our last found mon, or set mon on that map. And then after our field survey, we'll go ahead and update this. Now this one is actually a found mon. This one up here is a found mon. So we've got the monuments for that first map in. Um, there, there's some back of lots over here. I'm probably not gonna go look for those. Uh, I'll probably see if I can find these four first before I go look for those. Um, all right, so let me see. We've got a highway map here. Let's see if we can find anything on this highway map. Then I'll pause the video. So let's see. Waterloo Road. Here's Waterloo. Cherryland is here. Wilmarth is here. So post mile 1.5. They didn't give us a really good... Um, they didn't give us a really good vicinity map there, did they? So let's cruise through here. Here's Wilmarth. Whoop. I just saw Wilmarth. Uh, 
All right, so here's Wilmarth. So they have a found monument there at Wilmarth. Um, it's M118. I don't see that in the legend there. M118, it might be on another sheet. Here's M2. What's M2? M2 is a iron pipe. So I'm, I'll probably go look for that. And uh, I know I've got a monument there. Let's So let's drop those in. So I'm going to call this 15. Whoop. This is 1505. So let's see here. All right. And it's a little bit hard to tell where that where that highway monument is. They do have a lot line on there. It looks to me like that highway monument is just right in here somewhere. Oop. Okay, guys, so we've got a good start here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and add some more monuments from the highway map, and there's a couple other maps. There's, we've got some monuments. I think there's a parcel map here. Um, I'll do another video. We'll pop that open, and I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like, what we're going to take into the field with this.